Hey everybody, this is Joel Hoekstra of Whitesnake and Trans-Siberian Orchestra. I want to give you a little lesson today on how to get uh, your pentatonic stretched out a little bit, break out of those two note per string boxes and see if we can get some three note per string cool runs for you. The first exercise I want to break down for you is actually just running the pentatonic scale. Uh, we're going to use G minor pentatonic. It could have been any key, but why not G? Uh, if it worked for Smoke on the Water, it can work for us today. We're just going to climb straight up what the notes would be in two notes per string, but make it three notes per string. So we've got... as a basic idea of what we're working with, okay? And th that's really the same thing you would get if you just climbed right up. Okay, but the nice thing is that being three notes per string, you can get legato and you can climb across the neck and work your way from this box down here um, that we all know and love and get up to this one. Okay, so here we go. This is a, a legato pattern that I would use with it. Anyway, I hope you, hope you dig it here. Okay. So starting us out, we're just going to get three notes per string, and it's going to be kind of a recurring pattern on the way up. So I'm getting three, hammering down six and eight, and on the next string, five, hammering down eight and ten. Now getting the pull-offs on the way back down is the tricky part for a lot of beginners. Just make sure that your pinky doesn't push up. It's going to pull down to get a good strong note. You'll hear the difference. Watch. I'm going to push up on this pull-off. Sounds real weak, right? There's no snap. So the idea is make sure you pull offs your snapping down. And same with the ring finger to the first. So we have... Okay. And that's the basic gist of what we're doing, because now we're just going to kind of continue the pattern through the notes of the G minor pentatonic. So we have... We have... Okay. So the only thing that's really changing is the frets and the strings here, obviously. So we're continuing on 5, 8, 10 here, up to 8, 10, 12 on the D. Okay, and the 8, 10, 12 again, of course. 10, 12, 15. Back up these. We're getting 13, 15, and 18 here. Back up those, and 15, 18, 20. which I'm just resolving to G at the end with that bend. But you can see we've made our way from this pattern. Up to here. So even if you don't want to shred the whole time, this makes a nice little thing to climb up and change patterns in, for me at least. So uh, here it is up to speed. This next exercise kind of stretches you out within that higher pattern. So once you've made your way up here, if you're still looking to do some kind of shreddy, uh, fun three note per string stuff, I came up with this. You're just... So basically we're adding the next note up from this standard pentatonic uh, pattern that everybody knows. So we have... And really the next one, we're the same type of thing here, 17 to 20. So we have, so right here we're going 17 to 19, 17, 15. Okay, there we're going 18 to 20, back to 18 to 15, 17. And so it's really just taking that standard pattern 
and working with all the notes that would be happening next. Okay, so this is the climbing run, all in all. So this next exercise is if you made your way onto the high E in the B string, we kind of jam in there. I think most people have kind of worked with these licks before. So I came up with something that you can kind of climb your way up to that next pattern again. So here we're going to take that next note up. So we're pulling off from eight to six to three. And then pulling off six to three to get a nice clean three again, six on the B and three on the E. So that's the idea. Now all we have to do is sequence it through the notes of the G minor pentatonic scale on the way up. So you've, you've got in this pattern, now we're gonna move it to and Okay, so that run all in all climbing is So this next one exercise four with G minor pentatonic stretching it out We're just going to kind of take three notes of string here in tenth position So it's as if I'm playing these These three and then we're gonna do a little string skipping. We're gonna go to three on the G string and then up to here on the high E. And then we'll just make our way back down. As always with me, I like a lot of hammer-ons and pull-offs. They sound really smooth to me. Anyway, so here's the way the string skipping lick sounds. Exercise five just adds a slight twist to our string skipping, okay? We're gonna hammer on on the way up the same. But we're gonna stop here on the 10th on the E and make our way back down the notes on the G. And back up, so we have. Now I'm gonna do an alternate note here on the high E that I'm barring for. So we have. So basically, I think in the exercise itself, we have. Anyway, I hope those five exercises give you guys some ideas in terms of stretching out on the pentatonic so you don't feel so locked in and trapped in your two note per string boxes. Anyway, rock on guys.